over there. So, buddy, if you'll take over for a second, let me see if I can't go over and have a word right. with him. Seems like uh, Brody Piper has walked in over the ringside, and Gordon Soli is going over to have a little interview with this man. This has been quite a controversial wrestler wherever he's been, uh, quite unpredictable. What he comes up with next is really a controversy. Well, wherever Roddy Piper goes, and I have known this man for some time now, and uh, wherever he goes, he has an irrepressible spirit and uh, certainly finds himself constantly on the rather rough seas of controversy. Well, Mr. Soley, first of all, it's a pleasure to be with you, as always. <laughs> uh, not on time. <laughs> kind of come and go as I please, you see. When I come down here, <laughs> I says, I need a place to fight. <laughs> and all these wonderful people in Florida <laughs> figured they'd give me a place to fight. <laughs> So I come down to the arena, and they give me this partner called Mike Graham. <laughs> so now, just a second now, I'm standing in the ring. <laughs> and I'm like this in the ring, <laughs> and I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> and I'm saying, Mike Graham, <laughs> Mike Graham, tag me. <laughs> and I looks around, <laughs> and there ain't no Mike Graham. <laughs> I says, Mike Graham, tags me. <laughs> I looks around. There ain't no Mike Graham. <laughs> so I says to myself, I said, says I self, I said, what am I doing wasting my time, Mr. Soli? <laughs> what am I doing wasting my time with a whole bunch of people here who can't keep their end up? I'm supposed to come out here like a fine gentleman and stand proper when these geeks here, all I need to do is lay down because none of these people can do nothing. Rufus R. Jones. I heard Rufus R. Jones coming out here saying, I'd give, I'd give $5,000 to anybody that can beat me with the headbutt. He ought to take the five grand and buy himself some new pearlies. <laughs> he ought to take the five grand and get himself some choppers. He wants to put five grand up. I will take Midnight Rider. The Midnight Rider. And all these people here are silly enough to be confused and think they don't know who the Midnight Rider is. This guy, high ho silver, Lassie is following behind, <laughs> comes out here and says, listen, baby, <laughs> I'm the Midnight Rider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd talk like that. <laughs> Dusty Rhodes talk like that. <laughs> All kinds of people talk like that. You see, what it boils down to is this. <laughs> I am an international star. <laughs> I go where I please, I stand where I please, I do exactly what I want to do when I want to do it, and I hold no bones about it. I am the number one contender in the whole wide world, and I have never been beat by nothing, no time, not even in tenly weights. So I will tell you it boils down to this. I don't have to impress you. You have to impress me. Well, I can tell you is that's the man as complex uh as controversial uh and as brilliant really as he is we'll be back 